most great technologies, most great innovations, a lot of it's about timing. Like if you look at Amazon, if you look at Netflix, any of these companies that are really great case studies for how to do things better, it's oftentimes not that they were the first to market or first to come up with the idea. It's that there was a convergence of a whole bunch of things that happened at the same time. And I think that's what we're seeing in this industry right now. We're seeing an appetite and a desire to do things better. We're seeing an emphasis put on environmental, social, and governments applications. We're seeing technology that will support what we want to do and how we want to do it and the innovation around that. Right now, we're in a critical point in history for the energy industry where we need to fundamentally change not only our design, but our way of thinking of the way we approach our projects for the next 10 years. And that's where Scovan brings a really unique philosophy towards our well pad designs. We've taken full consideration of not just the engineering, but the entire life cycle of that project and that well pad from start to finish. We found Scovan just over 11 years ago because we wanted to bring a more fit for purpose and almost a more boutique application to the engineering world where it wasn't about just selling hours. It was really about becoming experts in a certain area. The SAGD industry really isn't that old overall. We still consider it part of our focus on emerging energy. The very first commercial SAGD project was in 2002, which was less than 20 years ago. Members of our team were actually on that project, provided process input, and our team has really become experts in oil sands over the last 20 years. Our vision is to drive a true manufacturing approach to projects. We have 55 acres in central Alberta. We're setting up the facility to specifically manufacture these SAGD well pad solutions. We're going to deploy an assembly line approach which will drive productivity overall and result in lower costs that way. We're going to start purchasing bulk materials directly from the original equipment manufacturers and the mills. And we can start not only reducing the footprint in the GHG associated with these projects, but we can start making them faster. And we can do that at a scale that hasn't been seen yet in this industry. And our targets are to reduce the cost of our well pad projects by half. The zero base approach for Scovan is a little bit different than the rest of the industry. Uh, there's a real big emphasis right now on modularization, which we fully do. We've been doing modularization for our entire existence, but we don't believe necessarily bigger is better. So going bigger, going to super mods, which are difficult to move, you're limited where you can fabricate them, you have to set them with specialized equipment, they have a very large footprint, isn't necessarily where we think we can add the most value. Our approach to zero base and the future of well pads is more around flexibility. It's being able to fabricate wherever we want. It allows us to ship it however we want, whether it's rail, trucks, without special permits. We can set it with regular equipment, bolt it up quickly. And then for us, the secret sauce is more how do we integrate it, how do we provide all the tie-in piping still on a modular basis, but drive the scale down, but make it plug and play so we have way more flexibility and are reducing the risk profile. We've come up with a truly unique and transformative way of approaching our projects, not just from the design perspective, but from the entire life cycle, from fabrication to construction, and then the maintenance and operability of those well pads. And that's what really gets me excited about what we have to offer, because I believe that we've created something that's going to truly change the way that we can approach our projects and make them more economically feasible in the future. The last 10 years has really been setting us up for this opportunity. It's about the people we hired, it's about the processes we've developed, it's about the emphasis we've put on our culture, it's the technologies we've developed, it's the designs, it's even the commercial model, our vertical integration model about how do we put emphasis not only on making engineering better, not only making fabrication better, but how do we actually make projects better. So our history, our track record, our experiences, our processes, even our specs, all of that is leading to this moment. And this is the type of project we've been preparing ourselves for.